morning, YouTube, Instagram, whatever social media platform you may be watching this on. Anthony Quigley Ross here, coming direct from you from quarantine. <laughs> so it's been a couple of weeks now since comp and obviously with all the new lockdown and quarantine stuff, I thought what a better opportunity to jump on here and give you guys a little bit of an insight and update on what's been happening in my life and do a little bit of a day in the life, so to speak, of my day today. As you can see, I'm saturated, dripping wet. I just got done doing 60 minutes on the spin bike, which I'll put a little clip up and you can see I do every single morning. Gotta keep that kind of routine. I love to do cardio, I do it every morning. It just sets my day up. I do a bit of work, some social media stuff, and just kind of be with my own thoughts. And what a better time to do this than now, because really, what else is there to do? And it is very, very essential and important that I can't stress enough to you guys, keep some form of routine um, to what you usually do just because you're at home or you're stuck and you're not working or whatever your situation might be Don't just become a lazy slob <laughs> Today is a rest day for me. I'm actually going to go and finish setting up mine and Tim's gym We need to pick up the rest of the equipment and I'll take you guys along to come and see that as well So that's gonna be pretty cool to show you our little kind of garage home gym setup because if you don't adapt and this is something that we did basically straight away. As you can see behind me, I've got all my kind of like stuff here that I can make do. So I've got my spin bike, I've got a set of dumbbells, an easy bar and a bench press, foam roller, ab wheel and ab mat and kind of stuff like that. Just, just to do the absolute basics at mine and Tim's little, you know, quarantine gym, if you want to call it that. We are pretty set up. We've got everything. So we've got a we've got a power axe, we can squat, bench, deadlift, barbells, shorter barbell, we've got dumbbells up to 50 kilos, and then today we're gonna to go pick up some isolation leg equipment. So we've got an abductor, adductor machine, a seated hammy curl, and a leg extension. You know, we're pretty blessed. We got onto this straight away and you know, it is our career, so it is essential that we keep doing and keep working towards our goals. Both want to do the Amateur Olympia in September. It's supposed to be on, they announced it yesterday. So I spoke to Adam yesterday, my coach. We had about 10 to 12 weeks off season where I actually just really ramped my calories up. So at the moment, I've been hitting around six to 7,000 calories a day, which consists of around 1,000 to 1,200 grams of carbs, keeping my fats around 50 to 60 grams. So pretty low and protein is around the 300 to 325 gram mark. I am not force feeding at all. No junk food, super healthy food that I always show you guys that I eat. So like lots of, you know, Egg whites, eggs, chicken, salmon, steak, rice, potato, oats, bananas, fruit, yogurt. A lot, lot more variety in my food now, but still super healthy, super clean. That's just how I like to eat. I don't really eat junk and I, I don't really enjoy it. So today is going to be a rest day, like I was saying. So I'm actually going to drop my calories today. And today will be the first day which my calories actually lower. So I've done my food. It works out to be about half. So it's about three and a half thousand calories I'm going to eat today. It's going to be around 500 grams of carbs. Protein's up to about 350 and fat's going to stay around the 55, 60 gram mark as usual. So I'm really gonna focus this off season on keeping my fats around that 50 to 60 gram mark because working with Adam in that last prep, my body really, really just absorbs and responds well to carbohydrates and fats are really not that essential as far as performance goes. They just taste great. I used to be a huge advocate for fats. I used to have like 160 grams of fat a day and super low carb. So I was doing the other way around, not keto. Yeah, I was having higher fats, lower carbohydrates, and protein was always around the 300 grams, pretty consistent. So it's really interesting to see my body's responding to this. My weight is up to around 105, 106 kilos. So about five kilos up from stage weight, six kilos up from stage weight, and still saying, pretty tight. Very happy with how things are going. Like I said, we've got about 10 weeks of off season, so to speak, presuming that these comps are gonna go ahead. So Amateur Olympia in September and then Nationals in October. So I'll, we will be pushing the calories, six to 7,000 calories a day until Adam specifies otherwise. And then we'll cut for about 
10 to 12 weeks leading into my show, which is generally all I really need to do. I do my cardio every day. I love my cardio. It's just something that I always like to do and I don't like to blow out and just get fat. So if I was eating six to 7,000 calories, this is just specific to me and I was getting fat, I would pull it back. I'm not gonna just eat, 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 which I see a lot of guys doing. What a lot of guys think they need to do is just smash the calories, force feed, get super fat, but fat is not muscle. So yes, you need to be in a calorie surplus. I'm, in, I'm definitely in a calorie surplus eating the amount of food to grow muscle, but you also want to keep somewhat of a good body composition. Otherwise, it just makes prep so much longer, so much harder, and you're gonna suffer way more, which, no thanks. At the end of the day, I'm absolutely loving training in our little home gym. Motivation is at an all-time high. Like you can see behind me and what you guys are gonna see today, you need to adapt and utilize this time to progress and spend on hobbies and you know things that are important to you and might not would have had the time to do because of work and just general life before this. So, you know, try and look at the positive side of things try and stay motivated and you know you guys can always i say this reach out we are all affected business you know health everything food like it's 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 pretty bad so we all need to come together stay happy stay positive and kind of look at the glass half full not empty because this will pass like everyone keeps saying it's about what we do now which is going to set ourselves up for when we come out of this so I am going to do some vacuuming. I'm going to stretch, get my foam, foam roller out, and then I'm gonna get into my first meal for brekkie, which I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be having as well. So today's video is gonna be a bit of everything, um, informational, day in the life, and kind of setting up mine and Tim's gym, and just a bit of everything. So hope you guys enjoy. Give us a like, subscribe, and drop a comment. I'll see you for my next meal. Peace. All right, guys, so just cooked meal one, breakfast, and it is looking pretty delicious. I cannot wait to dig into this. Check it out. So I got two whole eggs, about 200 grams of chicken breast, which I've just put some like organic Mexican seasoning on, three pieces of gluten-free Ezekiel protein bread, my good old chocolate greens, which I have every single day, as you all know. Good old faithful ketchup. Went for the 50% less sugar and salt, because why not? Vegemite, you're not Aussie if you don't eat Vegemite. And my sugar-free strawberry jam. So, I am gonna devour this meal. I cannot wait to eat this. And that is gonna be meal one for today. So, about 100 grams of carbs. I'd say 50 grams of protein and about a thousand grams of deliciousness. No, but seriously, low fat, maybe like 10 grams of fat from the eggs. I'm gonna snap this meal and I'll catch you guys soon. Secret is not too much Vegemite on your toast. You don't spread Vegemite like peanut butter. Let's just get that right, okay? People who put too much Vegemite on your toast, I don't know, but get your taste buds checked out because just, yeah, I love, I love Vegemite, but you don't need that much. It's not peanut butter. One egg, two eggs. And that is how it's done. He's in and I am off in this beast to go and get the rest of the gym equipment. But first, we're gonna pick up Timmy. So we're gonna pick up Timmy and then we're gonna take this absolute weapon of a van to go pick up the rest of our gym equipment. So I've got some food that I cooked up. It's got more chicken breast, some potatoes, and a packet of rice cakes. Reloaded my Barocca. Got some gym towels and some disinfectant wipes for the gym. So, hopefully it all fits in here. Let's do this. Never driven a van like this before, so fingers crossed for me, eh? <laughs> all right, just got to Tim's, but this is the current setup. This is what we got. 
this is the before. So hopefully we're picking up some flooring today, some rubber flooring, and we're gonna put our three leg machines in this corner here. So we got a leg extension, an ab and adductor machine, and a leg curl. So hopefully they'll fit there. We'll move this down and then put the floor in here. So this will complete our home gym. And this is where gains will be made. I'll promise you that. Made it here one piece in the van, which is good. Now we gotta pick it all up. All right, we're buckled in. We've got the fucking Corona spec over here, keeping safe. <laughs> and uh, we are off to go and get the rest of our gym. Oh, here we go. This is where the gains are made. We made it. Go that way a bit. Yeah, that's it there. That'll do. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do. Yep. <laughs> nice, mate. These babies up, eh? See it. The precious cargo. Got it. And uh, I'm still coronavirus free, which is yeah. good. Now um, we're going to try and unload this stuff. Yeah. That's so going to be the mission. Rest day or unload the equipment day? Yeah. Not much of a rest, bro. And we're back. Now, the real mission is how we're going to get all this out. Our leg curl, abductor, and leg extension in the back corner with this little piece of equipment and that's it. We have to get it into here. We're gonna sit down and have a meal and try and plan out how we're actually gonna do this. So this is gonna be next meal. I've got some potato that I cooked up this morning and some chicken breast and Tim has got some pasta, some, fucking... some panini and some chicken. I'm gonna get some, Chuck a bit of salt on there. Good to straight, go. Some straight. Let's uh, do it. Sweaty AF, but check out our gym. Welcome to the trenches, all right? Now, as you can see here, finely crafted Nautilus leg extension. Never before seen, all right? Well, now you have seen it, so you're lucky, all right? <laughs> leg extension, simple as that. Dumbbells crafted from Thor's hammer itself. Yep. You understand? Swiss bar, multi-grip, wide grip, whatever grip, you know? Neutral grip. Get a grip, you know what I mean? Olympic bar, full power up, chin-ups. We got the adjustable bench. How many? How much weights we got? We got two. Weight up to 240. So we're getting lunge, deadlift, squat, squat. Bench, you name it. Whatever. Stiff no, legs. No, 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 no. With the booty bands. Yeah. For that booty. We got more bands coming too. Um, so as you can see here, uh, never before seen in a garage before. Right. Full leg curl. All right. Nautilus again. And then the the most valuable gold of the gold. Machines this is, this is a machine. You want that hemi hang? You need a hip abductor, hip adductor. Yeah. Ad 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 yeah. Ad Five days a week in the program. Yeah. And that's it. So this is the gym. Fresh towels and dead old wipes on arrival. We got mirrors. We got mirrors. Now we got a real this is the the A and T gym. T and A A and T. I'm stoked. Absolutely stoked. So guys, in all seriousness though, this is what we're talking about with adapting. Adapt to what is happening in the world. You know, we went out, first thing Tim, when he got the squat rack, got the power rack, got the bar, got the weights. Oh, then I got the, straight. I got the um, leg extension, abductor, adductor, and the, and the leg curl machine. And we've got a full setup. There is nothing we're missing out on, nothing. And you know, like, have a look at it. Have a look at our setup. Oh, I cannot be happier. Gonna have 
quad sculpted by the gods after this. Yes. We're gonna have we're gonna have rigs. So guys, that's a little tour of our gym. We're finally set up. <laughs> it was a bit of a mission. I mean, today was supposed to be a rest day. What do you reckon, Timmy? We'll count that as a training day, I think, yeah. pretty much. So now I've got to drive this big van home. <laughs> Shit, mate. And um gonna go do some grocery shopping actually because I need some more food. So anyway guys, signing out. That's mine and Tim's gym. That's where we're gonna be every single day. Working on our bodies, working on ourselves, and not making excuses and adapting to our environment. So peace. Stay tuned for some epic sessions coming out of this dungeon. Just got home from setting up the gym and it is meal time again. So keeping it the same as last meal, I got my potato and chicken breast. I'm taking a bite out of. And I'm gonna eat a packet of these organic brown rice cakes. These are just salted, super long fat, organic. There's no preservatives, fillers and stuff in them. So these, other rice cakes to buy people and a soda water to wash it down. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna have a shower and do some emails and chill out for a little bit. On our grind, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah, this is our year. Knock this down once, we got up again.